Batman Murder and the Batman Batman Fugitive series. That's also part of that. So. Oh. Basically, Batman, she's not considered a partner, but more of a bodyguard to Bruce Wayne, which doesn't really make sense. But anyways, they're going out fighting crime, and then what happens is Bruce Wayne returns, and he finds the body of Vesper, Vesper Fairchild. Not to confuse me by Best Red Lynn, that's James Bond. And they are, um, they're basically arrested, put on trial, and, um, uh, oh yeah, and sentenced to Black Gate. But, um, but, Batman, he was Bruce Wayne was framed. We obviously know that. And, throughout the story, the Batman family is trying to figure out who framed Bruce Wayne and why. But, Bruce Wayne is more convinced that he was, that, um, that he was the one who did it. And then he tries to stop being being Bruce Wayne entirely. By just being Batman. And the... Like, Batman family doesn't... Are not... Saying that you shouldn't do that. And then they have... At the end, Dick and Bat and Bruce... Both fight each other, and he feels sad and want to hit him again. So that's Bruce Wayne murder, and he escapes from prison. Bruce Wayne fugitive is basically just us, Bruce Wayne. Continue uh, Batman trying to is Batman all the time and he's the Batman family is trying to figure out who actually framed Batman. The next one is Batman um uh Batman Fugitive Volume Two we, we, it's similar to Volume 1 because it's still looking for the person who did it. And then we find out. It was Lex Luthor hired David Kane to, um, to murder Vesper Child over this jealousy type thing. So, it was a nice... That was a nice, nice, um, story. That was a, yeah, nice. That was a nice ending to that story. You don't want to understand why they had a third volume. But basically, Bat, Bruce Wayne is cleared of all charges, except for he bought his bodyguard, Susanna is still in prison, and her body disappears, and then she goes in an assassin group. Batman tries, Bruce Wayne tries to get her back into his bodyguard, but she doesn't want to. And then, there's Death Shot makes an appearance in this one, where Kane was about to be, like, Death sentence and Batman escapes, escapes, um, allows them to escape and Death Shot appears 
and then they have a little fight, and Dead Shot is, he's got shot and he's injured there, into the hospital, that is pretty much what happens in that, in this story. With that being said, I'll end my review here.